Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best selling Class B Pluses on the market today. This is a 2021 Airstream Atlas. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Atlas and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited guys. We found an Airstream Atlas to review. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea. Hi everyone, I'm Anita from Airstream of Tampa. Isn't Airstream of Tampa the number one uh, Airstream dealership in the entire world? That's right, two times in a row. Great, and if you guys recognize Anita, she was actually in the Pottery Barn video. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Are you super excited to begin? I am, yep, let's okay. do this. Now this one is the 2021. Yes. And it is sold. Yes. But the 2022s, what, what changes have been made so far? Actually, no changes. Oh, perfect. Hey. If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so this is going to be on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Yes. It's a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel engine. You will get about like anywhere between 16 and 18 miles per gallon. Okay. Now, the way you get this, the Airstream gets a cutaway chassis from Mercedes and they do build the fiberglass body. Okay. One thing I like about this, there's no seams on the outside. Okay. So you don't have to worry about leaks. I know other brands have seams. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like they integrated it with the uh, front cab part. How do they do that? Fiberglass. Got it, got it, okay. It is uh, 188 horsepower with 325 foot-pounds of torque, yep. and the tip-to-tip -tip length is 24 feet. Nine, 24 nine. 24 feet, nine inches. And then look at these tires, Anita, they're the Van Contact. They're the LT215-85R16 with the shiny Alcoa rims. And there's actually something else about the suspension, which is your air ride, your airbags, your air ride suspension. It's actually located in the back. Oh, show us. Airstream does add these at the factory. You can see them actually from over here, right behind the tire. Very cool. Those are your airbags. It would help you ride. It's actually an improvement Airstream makes at the factory. Wow, and is anybody else putting airbags on a Mercedes? Nope, just Airstream. So that making this the uh, best riding Class B plus Class C in the market. That's right. Coming on down the side here, we do got frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Wow, look at that storage. Very nice for a B plus. Nice thing is you don't have those ugly compartment locks on the outside. How'd you get it open then? It's unlocked. You use your key fob to unlock it. Oh, wow. So, and it automatically locks when you're driving. Okay, what exterior color choices do we have? This is it. This is how it comes. This is your standard paint. Okay. It's automotive paint. It's 15 coats of paint. It takes about 250 hours to do the paint alone at the factory. Holy smokes. And as you guys can see there, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. And then look at these steps from Lipper. Those are super, super nice. And then just like every Airstream, this door is absolutely amazing. Yep. Now, one thing about the step, I want to make sure we mention, notice how the steps are on the outside? Yes. They're not taken away from your floor area on the inside. Oh, really very nice. nice. And if you want to close the door, I just turn off the button, the whole button, so this should be able Oh, to wow. Right Look now. at that. Oh, man. That is sweet. <laughs> What else we got going on down here? We do have our diesel generator. It's a 3200 Onan diesel generator. Okay. Okay. Very nice. More storage. I love how streamlined it all is. Right. And then more storage here. Wow. This one does go up. Even my arm doesn't rush. Holy over. smokes. Wow. That is huge storage. <laughs> Coming around the back. So in the back, you have your parktronic sensors. You do have four in the back, six in the front. Uh, in case you get too close to something, we'll start beeping at you. Okay, good. You do have a 
5,000 pound uh, towing capacity with the Airstream motorhome. Okay. And Airstream does cover up the hitch so you don't see that. You yeah. Know, more of, a, of an aesthetic look. Uh, I know other brands leave that hitch exposed, not Airstream. Nice. And there is a backup camera in that tail light as well. Now this is the newer Mercedes chassis that has the lane con lane assist, adaptive cruise control, all the nice features. We'll take a look at that on the inside. What else do we got going on here? So this is your camping setup. You have yeah. your macerator pump. Okay. Right here with a retract feature. Just push a button and it goes in. Very nice. Nice thing about this is you don't have to fight gravity to be able to dump your uh, tanks. This will do it for you. Yes. You have an outside shower. Your CD water connection, your propane fills over here as well, and your 30 amp connection. It is a smart plug. Nice thing out of this, you can hide the cable, put it to the bottom, and be able to still close your compartment door. Wow, everything's so streamlined. That's right. Cool. Right here is where your uh, suburban tankless water heater is. That's right. Yep, okay. That's right. Okay. What else do we got out here? We do have more storage. That's crazy. It doesn't even look like I, I, I'm promising you guys. I'm all like, is there more storage or is there not? Holy smokes. That is a lot, a lot of storage. Now the storage does come out with the slide out. So you don't have to crawl under the slide to be able to access your storage. I love that. I love that. And again, guys, this motorhome does have a slide out. Slide outs in right now. Oh, we will take a look at it and then even look at the slide topper i love how they paint it that color just so it blends in with the whole motorhome side view cameras holy smokes mm -hmm. most mercedes aren't doing that so you got the left side right side and reverse is that all for the outside that's pretty much okay well the outside of the motorhome looks great but i'm super excited to see the inside Look at these steps, guys. That is amazing. All right, so inside, you can see that the slide outs are in currently. This is a Murphy bed setup. Wow, huge, huge bathroom. Cool, let's get the slide out, please. Okay. And while she's getting the slide out out, I do want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor of today's show, uh, campgroundviews.com. You guys have seen campground views in the past and what they're about to do, they're about to raise their price. So make sure you guys hop on this promotion. But what campgroundviews.com is, is 360 digital tours of campgrounds. They partnered with recreation.gov. So you can book state and national parks from the website, find the perfect campsite and book it all there. It really is the one-stop shop Make sure you check out our interview with the owner of campgroundviews.com. Let's continue the video. Perfect. So this right here, I know you guys probably noticed this huge briefcase is the front bed system kit that comes as an option when you wow. buy these at the factory. Or you can order them aftermarket in case you want to sleep an extra person up here, maybe your grandkids and such. Uh, speaking of, that's a great point. Mm -hmm. Is this unit for sale? It is not. Okay. I know you work at Airstream of Tampa, but can we speak for every Airstream dealership saying that nobody has any of these in stock? You probably have to order one. You have to order them. Yes, right. yes. And then what's the wait time on them typically? Right now we're looking at May, June time frames for about eight, nine months. Okay, that's not bad because people people are gonna compare this to the Leisure Unity, yeah. which is two or three years. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> cool, let's uh, sit up front. Smoke this out of the way. All right. We do have tons of cup holders in here. Of Total course. 10. <laughs> um, right here up front, you do have wireless charging, okay. or you can also plug in for Android Auto CarPlay or mm -hmm. what's it called? Apple, Apple CarPlay. Yes. Okay. I don't have any. I don't have an iPhone. So okay. No problem. <laughs> um, right here is your touchscreen. Airstream does choose the biggest screen available from Mercedes, mm -hmm. so it's a 10-inch screen. In here you have phone navigation, radio, media. Oh, we're low on fuel. 
here's your info. This is where you can also access your manual. Okay. Apps and settings. I love it. And again, this is gonna have the adaptive cruise control, the lane assist, mm -hmm. the collision mitigation and all that. And then right here is where your cameras are gonna be, correct? That's correct. Very nice. It's not on right now. As you can see there, very nice steering wheel, digital dash. Um, just everything that you guys learned to love about the Mercedes. Um, the air conditioning seats right here, if you hold this for me. Thank you. In the passenger seat, I feel very comfortable and nice. We do have the three memory seats, what I recommend. First passenger sets it for number one. The second passenger sets it for number two. And then these seats do swivel to become part of the living area. So you want to sit, seat, you want to set your third memory seat for the best position for you to swivel around the, the chair right here. That's right. Cool. And then above, looks like we got some storage. Very, very nice. Oh, Anything okay. special going on up there? You do have your antenna booster here. Okay. And HDMI cords. Um, you do have an HDMI splitter right by the TV. Okay. Here. Okay. This right here is for so you are free wire for the AT and T connected uh, for the Wi Fi. Okay. That's so you can turn it on, turn it off. That way people are not tracking you. Perfect. Uh, so right now it's on, but we can turn it off. Perfect. And then right here, guys, we have an awesome three cushion sofa right here. You don't like to sit down for us? Oh yeah. Demonstrate. You got seatbelts there. Very nice. Don't tell me that reclines. Oh well, my goodness. Nice. Well, that, I mean, still, <laughs> that is super, super nice. You got your cup holders there. Uh, this is a Murphy bed. Oh, snap. Look at that. You even got like a little placeholder if you want to put a drink there. Very nice. And then let me move this for you. Total of two seat belts on the couch. Okay. You're gonna show the Murphy bed? Yes, okay. please. So the first thing you wanna do is this right here. Okay. Wow. And then there is a little latch higher on the side. You're just gonna unlock that, bring it down. Ah. Look at that. This is a very big bed as well. That's right, 73 by 73. Now you do have the Froley system underneath. Okay. That way you're not having a ah, mattress sitting yep. on, on wood. Okay. It's a little more comfortable. You do have USB ports, reading lights here as well. Perfect. And a place for you to maybe put your cell phones, books. Yeah, definitely. And then you got the windows right there and they do open? Yes. Very nice. Um, you do have electric shades throughout. Let me do the one. All it's you do is air electric shade. push a button. I love that. That is super cool. And you called it the ocean air? Yeah, that's the brand. Oh, okay. Very nice. And then how do we get this back up? Yep. So lift that up. Okay. Do the latch again and then just bring it up. It's really light. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then you put your arms right here. And then your arm right there. There's so many buttons and gizmos and gadgets in here. As you can see there, there is place for a pedestal table. And then right here, we have a perfect angle of where the TV would be. And that TV is on a televator. Now you're not holding the button, right? Look at that, just one push of the button and you got the TV with the sound bar coming up. It is a 40 inch TV, by the way. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm seeing the aluminum here. Is that is that just for aesthetics, for like the Airstream look or? And it's durable, it lasts longer. Okay. Other brands are gonna use the fabric, it's gonna start sagging all yes. the time. Yes, yes. smells, not with Airstream, they do use the aluminum, the same one they use on the trailers. As you can see, you also have your ducted air conditioner, so Whisper Quiet AC yes. on right now. I know, it's crazy. It. That's crazy. <laughs> and you can uh, direct the vents wherever you want. And then what's that right there? This is your sunroof, sort of like your skylight. You do have a screen, so you don't have bugs coming in. You also have a darkening shade. Okay. And let's open it up. 
course, you just push the button. Very, very nice. Also, we have some cabinetry here. We, very nice. Look at the hardware. Same type of hardware that they're using in the Airstream travel trailer. So you can just, you can really see and feel and honestly hear the difference. Um, and then there's storage right here. Nice little drawers. That's where your breaker box is. Okay, right there. And then you can see that the heat duct is in the side, not in the floor. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? It's now time for the <laughs> MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And for the MSRP, we're actually going to go on Airstream's website and build one of these out so we can see what the 2021 slash 2022 prices are going to be. So what you do is you go to Airstream of Tampa and then you build an atlas. As you can see here, first choice is exterior color and there's only one, silver. But you do get to check your interior decor. You can see that you have four choices, the Monar Grinch, Luke's White, Refined Brown, or Formal Black, different interior colors. And you get to see the laminate, the countertops, the flooring and everything. You get to pick your choice. And then it says select floor plan. Again, there's only one. It's the Murphy Suite. Uh, so then uh, you only have one other system, which is the front bed system. So the MSRP on this unit is going to be $253,911. And if you do get the front bed system, it's $255,61. And you go like this. And then you're uh, able to build your unit. And then, again, if you are interested in this unit, make sure you guys call Airstream of Tampa. Their phone number is 813-452-6344. Let's continue the video. Perfect. So, we do have our Nova Pool refrigerator here. Yes. It's fully electric. Unlike your other refrigerators or propane, these are not going to take 12 hours for you to, okay. to be able to put your food in there. Wow. Decent size, mm -hmm. decent size. Yes, 9.1 cubic foot. Right here you have your convection microwave. Okay. You can microwave in it or you can bake. Very nice. And this one does have the air fry feature as well. Whoa, so this is a three in one? Yeah. That's when right. do they start putting the air fryer in these things? <laughs> that is so awesome. cool. I know. Uh, here's your pantry. Okay. I mean, this kitchen does have a lot of storage. You got your pantry right here storage here maybe for like cereal boxes and such very Let's go nice all the way down now your kitchen is an l-shaped kitchen yes have your sink here very nice nice countertop as well yeah corian Kohler sink two burner cooktop suburban and propane yep. yep and a little cubby here for your trash can hey that's a 104 dollar trash can <laughs> And then right here we do got storage. Yeah, more storage up here. Wow. Now the reason why they all have these push buttons is so when you're driving, if it's locked, it's not going to swing open. That's right. And then tons of storage here. Space for your little sponges. Yes. Now all the cabinetry is made in-house at the factory. Okay. It's Italian ply. Ooh. Yeah. Italian. Little counter. Countertop extension right here. Very nice. And then more drawers. Wow. My Airstream does give you a little cutlery tray. Nice, I like it. And then more here. Perfect. If you don't mind grabbing the camera for me. Oh, yeah. I always do the bathrooms. <laughs> Perfect. So inside the bathroom, we do have the radius shower. Womp womp. You guys know we don't like radius showers, but for a small B plus, you know, it's actually not bad because the alternative is a wet bath. You know, very nice. I like the glass doors and everything. Really not that bad of space. We do have our medicine cabinet right here for all your medicines. Nice little mirror. Sink right here again with the solid surface countertop in the uh, bathroom. And then right here, we do have storage and then I must say this is very impressive all the storage in here okay so it does come with some linens oops if you want to perfect yeah. thank you yep tons of this what, what, what 
Is this all like for your bedding and everything? <laughs> That's right, yep. Wow. That's also how they supply it for you and it actually looks good. Also, it's a cedar lined closet as well. Okay. Very nice. It's now time for the toilet test. A little storage there, max air fan right there. All right. Plastic, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Speaking of, we do gotta get the cargo carrying capacity. Um, but this is not a prime poop position. Plastic toilet can't do it. I do like how it does have this door right here, if I can see the camera. And this kind of like um, like a boat door, you know what I'm saying? Like like I'm on like a little ship right there. Oh, oh, that's how it closes. Well, that's the lock for traveling. Yeah. Ah, the lock for traveling. Very nice. Do you know the cargo carrying capacity? It should be 941 pounds. Oh, you know that right <laughs> off the cusp. Very good. Should be right. Should be right. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, you know the rules. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Let's do dislikes first. Oh man, I was hoping you wouldn't <laughs> say that. It's gonna be very, very hard for me to find dislikes. Don't worry, I'll do the, the, the little, I will do the dislikes and you can do the likes. Okay, dislike number one. Here's what I will say. The bathroom setup. I, I, I am gonna give it credit where credit's due. It is a very nice big bathroom. But a plastic toilet and a radius shower for me, I'm just not a super huge fan of that. That is number one. Number two, here's what I'm gonna say. The kitchen area is awfully small. You know, they have a huge, very nice three-seater sofa. I almost would have rather seen a two-seater sofa with a little bit of a larger kitchen. Just me personally, but then you're not gonna get the Murphy bed set up the exact way. So that's number two. And then number three, huh? You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna be a little petty. And it's not petty, I just need to find a dislike. To get this bed out, the slide out has to be out at all times. You know, with that said, it's not that big of a deal because it is a three-seater sofa. You could lay on this if you're riding solo, but because it's the Murphy bed setup, you would have to get the bed out every time. So you can actually have the bed down when the bed, the slide out is closed. No way. Yes, you can. Really? Sorry to kill your dream there. <laughs> oh man, no, now I see, now I need a third dislike. Um, I wish you didn't say that. <laughs> this is so hard to find dislikes on this unit. Um. What is it missing? Do you have a dislike? Just the position of the microwave, in my opinion. Talk, you know what? Talk to me. Talk to me. You're saving the show. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, someone that's short, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay, but somebody shorter than me will probably complain about this. No doubt. No doubt. 100%. Yeah. I mean, they could have easily just taken the fridge up some mm -hmm. and put the microwave below. Maybe. Yeah. I love that. That's just a dislike. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Would you like to go first? Yes. So um, in regards to the chassis, yes. Airstream does add air ride suspension. Show us, show us. So right here you have your remote for the airbags. Okay. Now you don't really have to mess with this. It automatically adjusts itself. Um, but if you do need to override it and lower it or raise it, you can. I love that. It does help with your ride a lot. No other brand is doing this except for Airstream. Airstream does add this at the factory when the uh, motorhome is being built. I love that. I absolutely love that. I agree. That's like number one. Do you have a like number two? The high gravity suspension package. Well, what's that? So heavy duty shocks. Okay. Heavy duty brakes. Heavy duty bushings, uh, heavy duty sway bars. Uh, so that's, that's help with your ride. I love it. That's number two. Yep. I'm going to give you guys number three and a bonus number four. Number three, I do love the sofa, the TV placement. I know you're not in here to watch TV. You're supposed to be going out on an adventure, but during a rainy day, I will say it is awfully spacious in here. And for me to sit here looking directly across the TV, I do love that. And then a bonus number four is going to be right outside 
I love the streamline look. Airstream, very nice. I love the streamline look. I love how there's no um, no seams in the slide out. <laughs> and I actually love this step system for when it goes in. It's just a very, very nice look. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Airstream Atlas, three things you don't like about it. And then Anita, is there anything you want to say? Yeah, and just, just call us. We'll take it really good care of you guys. Um, our number is 813-452-6344, and there's a reason why we're number one. Yes, and when you call, ask for Aneda or any of their team here, and they're 100% willing to help you and get you the best deal in America. That's right. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching, and Aneda, we'll see you next time.